on uh, another upcoming. I, I knew he was going to be a star man in the making. Pop Smoke. I didn't listen to much music, but I knew he was. I was just in New York and he was heavy out there. And the, to get to Houston and he passed like four days later was eerie to me. But what is just your thoughts on that? My man's, uh, my, my little brother, he's standing in the Bronx. He the one who first put me on Pop Smoke. Mm -hmm. First track he put me on was Welcome to the Party. I said, man, this nigga, I don't, I don't know. But then, like, when you listen to the shit, like I listen to Dior, I'm like, oh, yeah, this what? that New York swag. This that New York yeah, swag. Yeah, they yeah, New York. They yeah. just, I mean, yeah, I, I know they like to call it drill, which we all know drill originated in Chicago. R.P. Pac-Man, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But it's like, uh, but with, with, with that, with, it was just a swag to it, like the New York shit. And I like, I feel like hip hop is better when New York got their own identity. Not when they trying to be like the South. Not when they trying to be like the West. Facts. When they got their own when identity. When they got 50. When they got who? When they got pop smoke, when they got like I like French, but you know he was more French. I, I don't know. It's like what? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Like it was just a drop, especially after Max D left. Like mm. oh fuck, I don't know. It, 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 yeah, it was a drop off for me, man. I feel that. Like your thoughts on the uh, rap game as a whole right now? Is it in a good space? Yeah, I think for the most part, uh, just like just. A couple weeks ago, we had uh, J Electronica and Uzi drop, which I think that mm. original iteration of Eternal E Tape was fucking hard, bro. That shit, yeah. Uzi did his thing on that hoe. He but came then, back with Avengers, man. You know what I'm saying? But then I feel like, even though a lot of people trying to give it flat, because yeah, you got Jay Z on eight of the ten tracks. I heard that argument, so what do you say? <sighs> Look, man, good music is good music, and it's hard to come by. We ain't gonna I heard trip. one of them. I heard the Ghost of Soldier Slim. Yeah, the music one. is good. I ain't tripping on the bullshit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He could have had Jay on all ten of the tracks. I like the message he was giving off, mm -hmm. and I like the consistency of it. And I, the, bro, the production, Alchemist, anybody who's in the pool? man, yeah, shit, Alchemist, get at your boy, man. man shit, get at your boy. Man, he one of the hardest men, a, a legend, man, in his own right. If y'all don't know who that is, Google him, man. Legendary producer, man. Legendary mm -hmm. shit. Then did like he done did a lot of. Uh, he used to do a lot of mom deep shit. Yeah. When I think about it, man. Yeah. Shout out to fucking Alcas, man. He with my boy, man. Tap the fuck in with him, lace up with a track. What y'all think y'all song like? Man, I just feel like that shit that would be crazy. I need an EP work to be mm -hmm. though. I'm trying to get it. Yeah. I'm trying to get real funky with that shit. Cause like that's the thing with me, and I think uh, you know, RP my late uh grandfather, mm -hmm. I think the reason why I, I kind of tend to like beats more with samples mm -hmm. is because like I came up around like a lot of that old older music, you know, mm -hmm. the old J's, the uh the Smokey Robinsons, the Temptations. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I love like that shit. Yeah, yeah, I, I love it, but it's it's too expensive. It's too ooh, man, I'm clear as it. Boy, it's a motherfucker. <laughs> Why you think uh, it took Jay Electronic for so long to drop another project? I think I think he was more into living life. I don't I don't Ooh. think rap was really as important to him as as we would like to believe. I think at one point I think he just got to the point where he was just like like I get to that shit when I get to that shit. I think so many of us, especially with an artist, and I can relate to it. I feel like even though I just dropped Love, I feel like I gotta drop Love Three. I feel like I gotta drop something, and we get so caught up in that rap race to where. We kind of want to put quantity over quality, mm -hmm. which don't get me wrong. The rap game is cool, you know, with all these releases, but a lot of these releases are quality releases. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to show nobody. I fuck with everybody, especially out the city, man. But a lot of these, a lot of these releases are quality because we just trying to churn them out. We we make a fast food instead of soul food. Mm -hmm. And I feel like he was more occupied with making soul food. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Which is. It works. It, it don't work for everybody. everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It don't work for me. Everybody. Some of you niggas are McDonald's. Some of you niggas exactly. are McDonald's. You know it, what is, it is how it is, man. As far as the city, man, are you proud of it or do you feel we got work to do? I'm so proud of the city, man. Like, even with the whole Megan shit, I hope that shit gets sorted out. But me like, too. I really do. Because, you know, and it's it's kind of hard to have a pain in that situation because mm -hmm. you'll see people be like, man, she should have read her contract, but, bro. A lot of times, you know what I'm saying, what well, she should have, you know what I'm saying, because this nobody owes you nothing. Like Big Ant, you know what I'm saying, uh, Big Ant at Urban Politicians, he say that shit all the Shout time. Out Big Ant. Shout out Big Ant, man, but he say that shit all the time. You gotta stay on your pivot. Like this game is cutthroat. If you ain't got the heart for it, niggas will eat you alive. So it's like, 
I don't know. Like, I don't know who to place blame on. But other than that, we got so many people. We got OTB Fast Lane coming out the city. Like, it's, it's a beautiful time for the city. Like, mm -hmm. man, let's keep it going. Like, I'm trying to I'm trying to inject my name in that shit, man. Let's okay. keep it going. Do you think they gave the city a bad look? Not really. Not really. Because I feel like you could overcome anything if the music is quality. Exactly. I feel that brought more exposure to both sides. Like I said, at the end of the day, whether the, if you team make your team call, I just pray, you know, they work on all that shit. I think yeah. the the day, they both made something special happen here in Houston that we have never fucking seen. Never. Ever, and I don't know if we like, ever seen Like, because doing her thing, and then, like, I remember a lot of people trying to shit on her because she only sold 44000 which I think is, is fucking crazy because people didn't even know the EP was coming out to, I think, two or three days Do you before know it dropped. 44000 That's a good That's thing. what I'm saying, but, like, people on the internet trying to minimize that when these niggas can't even do 4400 in a year. You feel what I'm saying? Like, 44000 is not to be understated. And then, I can see if she had a whole Roll out with this shit. It dropped like niggas on the news dropping. Her fan base on the news dropping like two days. Yeah, you're right. And then for it to do that, we just gotta start uplifting our queens and kings mode. Really and it's easy to get into that shit, man. Yeah. Uh, I got the Love 3 documentary dropping with me and the homie. Right, so that. Check that shit out. We got more visuals coming. Give me time, you know. I ain't just standing in front of the store with guns looking stupid, you know. Like, I'm I'm trying to give y'all, like, masterpieces, you know what I'm saying? So, exactly. you've been doing time. that. Yeah. Give me time. You've been doing that, man. Before we get out of here, man, what was your favorite track on Love 3? Ooh, my favorite track on Love 3 was probably that uh, Vibrant thing. What made you choose that Me Too, that old Q2? Oh, man, like... That, I, I've always liked the production, like, it was just always just like a funky ass, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, that whole, the, yeah, the yeah. jazzy ass little production, so I was like... It's a wrap up that, yeah. a lot of people can't wrap up shit like this. Mm -hmm. But I was feeling that whole, so I was like, yeah, let me, guys to do this, so it, 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 it was hell fun to hear beat with the right consistency, because there's a lot of reproducers out there, but eventually got that shit locked down and we did what we supposed to do, so... What you mean with hell? Uh, I couldn't find like the official version of it. Yeah. It was kind of, it was harder than what I thought it would be because you know that shit came out when they would release the single. The single had a explicit radio, acapella, and hey, instrumental. Hey, yeah. You know hey. what I'm saying? But that shit was a little bit. But I found it. I found it eventually. You know, so got that whole. That's one of my favorite ones. And that big boy diamonds. Big boy diamonds hard too. Yeah. So that was like probably my favorite tour now. That be hard for too. Yeah. That's the original? Uh-uh, that's that, uh, Gucci and Cardiac Black. Yeah, right. Yeah, I said, uh, I forgot which, uh, album it was from by Gucci, but yeah. I don't know what you said, I was. You said Gucci and Cardiac? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. He did the number one song, man, which is the one that's holding at home. Yeah. Why home? Uh, that was always, uh, uh, that beat was actually supposed to be the original beat for that, uh, Home, that homecoming track by Kanye, but I guess he switched the yeah he switched the beat uh, with the guy Chris Martin. Cause I guess he wanted to go more with pop up here, but I always love that beat. But I can never get nothing like wrote to it that I felt was satisfactory until recently. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't know that you gave me a fun fact. I did not know that man. You should have used this one. Yeah, cause that uh, that uh, yeah, cause the same cadence he kind of had was like a slower cadence. On that one, but a lot of the shit he was spinning on there, not all of it, but some of the shit he was spinning on the other one. Man, I feel that plug your IG for these people, man. I don't want to run on the devil, man. We running all the time. Plug your IG, your YouTube, let everybody know they find man. out that shit. Instagram, Von Reps Valley, B O N R E P S V A L L E Y. Twitter, same thing, Von Reps Valley, B O N R E P S V A L L E Y. YouTube, check out my videos. I got some dope ass videos. Valley World Records. B A L L E Y World Records. Fuck with your boy, man. All quality, man. Fuck with me. Man, y'all fuck with my boy, man. Y'all tap the freak in, man. Y'all let him know what's going down, man. Let me get a few shots of you. I ain't mean to run you this long, man.